Hey, Orange One here, and in this video, you're going to be watching us uh, go over armor values and how that works in this game. I just wanted to start off with a little bit of comment, just kind of to highlight some things. Um, first of all, this first number here, that's the actual damage that's being dealt. And then we've got armor, which is reducing some damage. So I kind of wanted to show off what that looks like. Uh, as someone attacks you, there's a number of interesting things that happen in this game. So just a general overview. Um, I'm going to talk about like heavy, light armor, and their differences, um, special effects that some armors have, as well as hit chances for different body parts, and eventually uh, just kind of a holistic review and some of my favorite armor combos. Um, so yeah, let's have a look-see at some other other things that are kind of interesting. So these dudes, you can see that they're they're getting um, a reduction in damage that's being done. So if we look at their armor, they've got kind of a mix of actual armor here. And you can see right by the underneath where it's just sh shoddy grade, it says heavy armor class metal plate. So this uh, has a metal plate. This is what you'd call chain armor. Um, I haven't really notice much difference between metal and chain but the big difference is when you start comparing cloth and leather items so this is uh it says yeah this is actually metal but a lot of shoes are leather most clothes like this um like this here provide no armor protection and a few uh leather are items are considered like class armor they give you a little bit of protection you can see, though, that pretty much all of the protections are higher on the chain and metal when comparing the shoddy to this. Um, it is also significantly lighter. That is the one huge plus when it comes to light armor is it's actually light and you can actually use it without having high strength. Uh, for example, these guys right here, yeah, they're able to move around with these heavy weapons and armor, but check out their strength, man. Like 56... That's pretty high. If I put the same armor on someone weak, they're not going to do very well in that stuff. So yeah, basically there's there's clothes, leather, and actual metal items. Um, if we're looking at these guys' armor, this is actually a leather item, the black plate jacket. And it actually provides some pretty good protections, but you can see this is uh, leg plates. Actually, this is one of my favorite items armor items in the whole game and it's got about twice as much blood resistance as well as uh, not twice as much cut resistance but a little bit more and um, its cut resistance efficiency is even higher so it's going to be blocking that much more damage now if i'm completely honest with y'all i don't dive super deep into cut resistance and how that all works um, but i do look at coverage and how it affects skills so for example this armor right here it's going to give you a stealth effect of 0.15 so if i try and sneak with this squad man we are gonna be bad so this dude's sneaking and he's got really about an eff effective stealth as um as if what was it he had 15% of the skill level. So his stealth right now, it's actually, it's penalized so much it's actually negative. Um, so that's bad, <laughs> if you can't tell. So also there's dodge effect, which affects your actual dodge chance. And athletic effect makes you run a little bit slower. Combat speed effect slows you down a little bit, but really the athletics penalty and the combat penalty on this armor is pretty much nothing if it's like less than 10 percent, i don't even think about it to be honest um also so um when you're seeing all those x's that means it's basically like 15 percent of your actual stealth effect can be used uh if we're looking at the stealth or like with the dodge you can use about 60 percent so there's like percentage reductions and then there's also flat reductions like the martial arts bonus right there it takes it takes away 10 from your um, ability no matter what it is. So if I look at Stinks right here, his armor is going to make it. So if I look at his attack um, without these weapons, 
it's really negative. Like, that equipment bonus is really hurting his chance to actually hit there. Um, yeah, and this one also gives a minus 5, so you've got the minus 10 and the minus 5 for a total of minus 15. Um, and then there's a little bit of encumbrance as well. So yeah, that's a couple things to keep in mind as those effects do stack. The next interesting thing to talk about is... I'm going to actually go back to Omalos for this. Um, just kind of show off a couple different things. Because we've got a number of different armors on people here is essentially why I'm going back here. Oh, while it's loading, uh, remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> also, I've got Patreon. <laughs> okay, so anyways, we're back here. Um, we were looking at coverage and how that works. So if you look here, this item has 90% chance to block attacks on the left arm, 70 to block attacks to the stomach, 90 to block attacks on the right arm, and 100% chance to block chest attacks. Pretty good armor. I really do like the Mercenary Play. It's probably one of my favorite uh, chest armors because it gives good coverage to the stomach and the chest. I don't worry as much about the arms because those can get taken off with prosthetics. Uh, it's just a personal preference. He actually is using cargo pants reinforced, which is honestly one of the easiest um, decent protection armors that you can craft. You just need to get a blueprint from like a United Cities city. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. That one protects both legs 100% of the time. The interesting thing is that some armor, uh, for example, if I go to one of these dudes, not only does this protect the legs, but this protects the stomach as well. And so does this. So these two uh, armors put together are going to protect the, the stomach. Um, it doesn't stack like 70% and 50%, it, it you don't have a 120% chance to block an attack. No, it's uh, independent events. So I don't know in this case which one would get rolled first, if I'm completely honest, but there would be like a 30% chance that an attack's going to just not hit this at all and go 100% through, and then you get no damage reduction from that. But then we also have a 50% chance that this is going to block the attack, so it helps us out. And then also for this one, this is going to block the uh, stomach attacks 100% of the time. So with the right armor, you can really protect the stomach, which is kind of unnecessary. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and then this one's blocking the head 70% of the time. Yeah, which is not good. With helmets, I, I want something that's going to cover 100% of the time. I don't want to take any risks. It's just not worth it to me. Also, this one gives a little bonus. Now, not only do um, you have those penalties that you get with armor, sometimes you get a bonus. For example, Swamp Ninja Mask is going to protect against dust storms. Pretty much anything that blocks your vision will protect against a dust storm. I don't know if... This actually, yeah, this blocks vision, so it protects against dust storm. So there's a couple neat little things there. This does not. But if it was me, I'd go with a masked helm over an armored hood because I like having 100% coverage. I just don't want to get hit through that. Especially in my Kenshi Hiver only let's play where we're playing with times four damage. It's it's kind of brutal. Um, also, while we're talking about penalties, backpacks, they give pretty sizable penalties. Some are not so bad as others. For example, a small backpack pretty much doesn't give you any penalty, and it actually makes the items in it effectively way less. So if you've got heavy items, put that in a backpack, essentially. Um, and then you can also dump the backpack as you need to as you're running around. Also check out this one. This is a pretty good one for snipers because it gives you a little extra perception. Um, but it also only gives you 70% head protection, so it's a... Uh, it's not great, if you ask me. Um, I don't know if I have anyone that's super weak, but I'm curious, if I look at Mortez, what's your strength like? Strength of 20. So I want to show you what I meant by... Um, are you are you stuck? What's going on here? Oh, you're in a recovery coma. Uh, maybe once he's recovered, we could have a look-see. I kind of want to just get someone with lower strength. Yeah, Patch, you should do. Well, you're slowed right now. 
by being hurt, but if I'm looking at your athletics, um, your encumbrance is, is slowing you down about a quarter of the way. So you've just, you're carrying too much weight, essentially. If you look at it, his armor is really heavy. That's 21 pounds. But the crab armor, I love the crab armor because it does, it has really good protection. Like, it protects your limbs pretty well. It's very similar to samurai armor. Um, that's not very high quality samurai armor. I don't think I have samurai armor in this let's, let's play, but it is very, very nice. Um, so yeah, I think the other one just gave 100% on the stomach as well, so it's a little bit better for coverage, that crab armor. Uh, then I wanted to show you all this really cool tool that um, Garaw shared on Reddit. This is a really neat tool that he posted about. I'll link to this post as well as the actual tool itself. But it's really cool because it, um, I'm just gonna let the game run in the background if I'm, yeah, whatever. Basically, it's showing all the stuff that we've been talking about, but talking about, um, like, for example, this helmet, it gives 100% coverage to the head, and then it's got these different values given to it. I believe this is for the masterwork quality, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then they're talking about how much damage gets resisted. And then um, the actual damage taken in terms of those two, and yeah, it's it's pretty intensive. It's very very thoroughly done, but it's a really cool tool. And what I wanted to highlight from it, which I, I thought was kind of interesting, was the hit chances for all the different body parts. So if we're talking about Greenlanders, uh, Hive Princes, and P4 units. So Greenlanders are just regular humans. Uh, so if we go to like Bark here, that's a Greenlander. And then um, Ridley is also another Greenlander. So those hit chances apply to them even if they get cybernetic parts. They still have those same hit chances. Um, do I have any Hive Princes? I've got a, a Hive... Um, <laughs> worker at least right there so he's got values that line up with a hive worker this guy I believe is a P4 unit I've forgotten exactly sh what the, the P4 units look like these are the default skeleton ones um, oh no this is a P4 unit yeah your P4 unit that one was a screamer bot and this is a soldier bot right here so if we're looking back here um, the soldier bots and the skeletons, these are their hit chances right here. Hive workers, that was like a uh, beep just a minute ago. Scorch, are, Scorch landers are essentially humans with uh, black skin. And yeah, it looks like their hit chances actually are the same as the Shek, which is kind of weird to me. Now, there's a couple things to keep in mind here. Effectively... The armor is the same for these different races, but there's slightly different hit chances, which is, are going to affect things. Um, so, for example, we were talking about how you can have three armors. I think up to three armors protecting the stomach at the same time. But look at how little of a chance you're going you've got to hit that with a hive worker or a hive soldier. It's very, very low. Um, even with these guys. Uh, yeah, sure, you might want to protect the stomach on a Greenlander, or a Scorchlander, or a Shek, but you don't really need it as much on a Skeleton or a Hive Soldier. Um, it's just not really a priority. On the flip side, uh, Skeletons and Soldier Bots, they can't wear helmets. So this is a significant chance to get hit in the head and they can't wear helmets. Same with the Hive Soldier. They've got a little bit of a higher chance than most humans, essentially. And then, in addition to that, you've got your chest arm uh, protection right here, left arm, right arm. It, I, it doesn't really affect things, but I thought it was kind of interesting. The right arm actually has a smaller hit chance than the left arm, which would explain why in my hybrids only let's play, we've lost a lot of uh, left arms. The legs are the same, so yeah. Just kind of interesting um that might affect slightly how you're doing armors 
Re realistically, I'm just going to keep the same armor on everyone. Um, like, where it's feasible. So, for example, humans would get blackened chain shirts. Hive soldiers, they can't. So they need, like, a, a special hive made shirt. Like, if I tried to put this item on beep, it just won't let me. I don't think anyone is... Actually, I think... Let's just show off what that looks like. Go ahead and trade with Beep just for a second. I think you're right here. Yeah, you're right here. Fine. So, if I try this can't wear, and then I try and put this on here, no, that doesn't work, and that doesn't work. So the game won't let you put on armors that it won't let them wear, essentially. That is something to keep in mind um, when you're trying to hit out your your squad, but you can see that they are wearing very similar armor. The And also Hivers, yeah, they have a pretty low chance to get hit in the stomach, but they also have less health, so you do need to keep that in mind. It's probably worth protecting those parts still. Um, yeah. And, you know, what's interesting is with the skeletons, they can't even wear the shirts, so that lower chance to hit the, the stomach doesn't even apply to them. And also, Hivers, um, they, by and large, cannot wear boots. And the, um, the soldiers, like Moo here, which you can see, I don't have an awful lot of them because their weakness of not being able to wear a helmet is, in my, my mind, a deal breaker, you know? Okay, so I think that's most of what I wanted to cover. I just want to double check... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of the stuff that I wanted to, to go over. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One, and if, uh, if you're interested, I'll, I'll have a link to my Patreon, and, um, I'm trying to get some merch out there, so if you want to see some merchandise of mine, uh, that might be linked in the video as well. Uh, thanks again, uh, I've really enjoyed doing these tutorial videos. I, I was very happy to do another one and excited to see how y'all what y'all think of it. Um, I'll see you guys around.